everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Chef Spotlight. Today I have another exciting chef here with me who goes by the name of Chef Santos. If you'd like to just introduce yourself today and tell the viewers what you'll be making. Okay, so my name is Chef Santos. Mm -hmm. I work for Cinnamon Group uh, in central London. Uh, I'm Indian chef, Nepalese born Indian chef. Okay. And uh, today I'm cooking very exciting things uh, like I don't want to cook like some normal things, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, trendy things. The trendy is like uh, uh, when you have what you eat, like a healthy food or that kind of thing. So I'm cooking today uh, salmon. salmon. So salmon I'm going to marinate and cook in the oven. And then I'm cooking quinoa, okay. quinoa, but uh, Indian style. So like a plow, like a biryani style, mm -hmm. similar instead of rice, we're using quinoa. Yeah. And then I'm um, making sauce. Uh, goes with so the sauce will be coconut and mango sauce so salmon coconut mango sauce mm -hmm. quinoa and then some butter spinach goes in with nice so yeah and it, this will be where it sounds very long process <laughs> long food but very quick very easy and if you watch and uh, see tasty yeah flavorsome. of course that's why nice. i'm here <laughs> <laughs> nice okay <laughs> only tasty okay <laughs> Right, so we're gonna, you know, go straight into making this delicious dish. So if you tell us what you're starting with first, you're gonna start with the salmon first. Yeah, so I'm gonna to marinate salmon. Okay. Leave it for a while, mm -hmm. while we're preparing. Yeah. To cook in the oven, maximum, mm -hmm. 10 minutes, maximum. Mm -hmm. But um, this, this timing is uh, depend if very, very chilled directly from the freeze, will be 10 minutes. If I have outside a little bit longer and the temperature go down, so eight minutes okay. in 180 degrees. So I just going to marinate, leave it outside and then cook it eight minutes later. And um, for marinating, I have a ginger garlic paste here, 60-40. Um, so 60 is the ginger, 40% mm -hmm. uh, uh, garlic okay. and put it oil and just blend it. Uh, ginger garlic paste, yeah. Uh, if you have lots of ginger or garlic at home and going to spoil, yeah. so you can blend it and keep oh, it in the freeze for so. yeah. And uh, that shelf life have a very big because there is a no moisture, a lot mm -hmm. of moisture. So or just the oil, and then I'm putting a little bit of salt. Yeah. And then you had a little bit of turmeric. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us where you know your inspiration comes from for your dishes? Where are your you know, where do you get your ideas for for your dishes? So my dishes are all modern. Uh, and innovating so I always cook new food mm -hmm. and this all come from I read a lots of book I have so many books and I read different different chefs books I watch uh, TV shows yeah uh, lots of reality TV show uh, food food reality one and uh, lots of chefs shows and I, I travel a lot and uh, I work uh, for experience Go in a nice restaurant, like a Michelin star restaurant, and mm -hmm. uh, work for two weeks, three weeks, one week, and uh, I get uh, inspiration from their food and try it with uh, my food as well. So, so right now you're cutting. This is a coriander. The coriander. I'm just uh, adding coriander there in the marination, and then mix it. With, and uh, okay. So this will be coriander. And then a bit of mustard oil, some lemon juice, and that's all. Any reason why you chose to use mustard oil? This is mustard oil is a very good flavor, okay. and Indian cooking, Nepalese cooking, uh, Bangladeshi mm -hmm. cooking, they use lots of mustard, and I like the flavor. Mm. Salmon and mustard marry very very together, it goes very very well. They are very good combination, mustard mustard and yeah. salmon. So that's why I'm marinating with that. And squeeze of lemon. You grew up in Nepal, didn't you? Yeah, I. My childhood was in Nepal. When I was 15 years old, I moved 
to uh, India and we start working as a chef. While I'm working as a chef, I finished my diploma in a hotel management and I finished my uh, education mm -hmm. while I'm working as a chef. So when I was 15, 14, 15 years old, I start uh, working. Wow. Uh, so now it's like almost 20, 21 years working as a chef. So, so you can see uh, this one a little bit. Looks really nice yeah. and coated. So and how long will you leave this to sit to marinate for? You can up to you. You can do the one day before. Okay. Or you can do the few hours, two hours. Fish doesn't take longer. Mm. Meat take very long, but fish um, don't take too long. So one, two hours, one hour enough. So this is Greek style yogurt that you're yeah. adding. Yeah. So Greek style yogurt, a little bit. So just coating mm -hmm. this. And uh, this one, if you have a barbecue, mm -hmm. this is a perfect marination for barbecue as well. So uh, you're doing the barbecue or char grill over. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't want to cook them in the oven and you have a charcoal, charcoal grill, so you can do in the charcoal grill, this is amazing. So yeah. how long have you been a chef for? I am chef almost 20 years now. 20, wow. From the childhood, I'm just cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. <laughs> what is it about cooking that you really love? Making people happy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> I love and this is a very creative thing, you know, like and uh, apart from the cooking, I don't know anything. So I, do, I cannot explain you exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I will leave it this one. Yeah, to marinate on the side. Yeah. So we've got and our fish marinated. This yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. You can see, you know, everything's coated quite well and smells and really good. Smells really good as well. We can leave it here and then okay. we can put in the parsnip paper. The yeah. butter paper, mm -hmm. brown paper, yeah. And then you're going to uh, roast it? Just um, preheat oven, uh, 180, okay. eight, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes. And if you like more, like you don't like pink or... No, I like it well it, done. Yeah, so you can like well done, then to go for 12 minutes. Okay. Minutes. The next step would be... Next step, we're going to cook quinoa. Quinoa will take a little bit of time because um, I'm cooking with the steams and everything. So uh, let's cook the quinoa first. Okay. So for the quinoa, I'm going to prepare Onions. Mm -hmm. So with the quinoa, are you what are you you're adding onions into it? Onion, tomato, tomato. ginger, chili, garlic, and uh, chopped tomato. Okay. Then hot water and some spices mm -hmm. and uh, cooking that one till. Nice. Onion. And normally, how long does quinoa take to cook? Uh, Twenty minutes maximum. Not Fifteen minutes, slow heat. So what about your background, you know, how you come from a family of seven, seven siblings, right? Yeah. Wow. So Are they all they, back home in Nepal? Yeah, everyone in Nepal. Mm -hmm. Not everyone, but nowadays everybody moved different, different part. Yeah. So my brother, one live in South America. Okay. Belize. He owned the restaurant and he's a chef. Oh, wow. And then another brother live in Boston, America. Mm-hmm. And um, he live there in my kitchen, my house I have a chef so so you yeah. and your me, brother me, yeah my brother yeah so this do you got did you guys ever cook for each other <laughs> yeah we always cook when when we whenever we have a chance and we get to, um, very hardly we have a same time holiday to nepal mm -hmm. so but whenever we plan and go together and we cook so many things and um, it must yeah. be a big feast yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we like to cook like a local things. Local, okay. Yeah, so local ingredients, what oh, we were growing there, yeah. and that things you don't find here, mm. and uh, you don't find in South America yeah. and America. So that we like to cook in our style, the new style, okay. and um, that will be that. That's amazing things. What so, are some of the dishes that you miss from Nepal? Oh, lots of things. Oh. <laughs> lots of things. Yeah. So basically now. What I'm doing yeah. with the Nepalese food, I'm not Nepalese chef yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm Nepalese, but I'm not You're Nepalese. You're an Indian chef. chef. Yeah, I'm Indian chef. I cook Indian food. Indian food. Uh, modern Indian, Indian, and different different kind of uh, Indian. So. Um, so what's but, the difference between Nepalese and Indian food? Very very different. Oh. But Nepalese food is undiscovered. 
Okay. So it's nothing discovered. So I felt like two years before. Yeah. Why not we try to Nepalese food? To, uh, because so nice food we have. And we can discover that food. So from two years, I'm researching about the Nepalese food mm. and trying the new recipes. And in the future, I want to be a Nepalese chef. You want to? Nepalese chef. You want now. to be, okay. Become a Nepalese chef and open a Nepalese restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, fine dining in Nepalese restaurant. Not, I don't want a normal restaurant. Okay. But I want like a Michelin level. Michelin style. Michelin style. Yeah. Nepalese food. Never done anyone mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to do that one. That's why I'm researching. And I have come up with the idea. Hopefully, uh, very soon. That would be good. So, can you give me an example, you know, like the difference between Nepalese and Indian Yeah, food? so Nepali, Nepal is um, between uh, China and okay. India. Okay. So, and we have influence from China yeah. and uh, India. So that food is like a different kind of food. So, example, we have a very, very popular dish called Momo. Dumpling, a steamed dumpling. Mm. But dumpling came from uh, Tibet. Okay. So we are very near from the Tibet. Mm -hmm. And that the momos is dumpling from the Tibet and influence to Nepal and they call momos. And we cook with a spice. And uh, we serve with the chutneys, that's yeah. a sesame touch chutneys. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the, one of the mm, popular ingredients and popular dish what we have. And uh, we use lots of sun dried things, even mm. meat and vegetable mm -hmm. and, and fermented. Fermented, okay. Yeah, lots of fermented we have. And that's on discover. And now I see last like a few years, three years in London, it's very, very trendy. Um, fermented. And we have like from 100 and 100 years to Nepal. Mm. So why we can Why is it now? <laughs> yeah, so like, why here now? So let's discover that things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided to be a Nepalese chef now. Okay. So I have already almost like, um, almost 100 recipe ready. Wow. And I have tried already all that food. That's amazing. And I'm doing like a photo shoot for, um, to, presentation to mm. Mm, for the Nepalese food and mm. uh, for my Instagram as well. Yeah. So promoting Nepalese food and mm -hmm. Nepal culture and anything. So while I'm learning, yeah. I will do that thing. So yeah, amazing. That's good, oh, amazing. So would you say that this dish is Nepalese influenced or? Yeah. yeah? This dish? Yeah. No, no, this no? dish is not in Nepalese okay. influence at all. <laughs> <laughs>
So also we don't looking for any kind of color or dark or caramelized, just a little bit soft. And then while you're doing this one, make more faster, you are soft, you add a little bit uh, onion, sorry, uh, salt in onion. So that uh, moist, they're gonna to absorb in that one. Okay. Turmeric. And when you're adding powder and spices, be careful because it burned very, very quickly because there is no so much um, moist inside. And so powder and spices, I have a cumin powder, um, coriander powder, and garam masala. A straight, use, uh, I have a thin tomato. And you can use the fresh tomato, uh, chopped as well. But um, the texture bring thin tomato, the chopped one. And now we need to cook a little bit longer to get all the mesh. And then we add the quinoa and um, then add water and then cover it. Okay, so now the part uh, we add in quinoa. So we add in quinoa, then mix it well. need to be the double quantity than what you have everything there add the coriander and reduce the heat more okay um joy you want to taste it yeah. and uh, of please course. Uh, i have a spoon for you so i noticed you've uh, put everything in you know yeah. you've added it in and it looks quite watery is that yeah so, so uh, this will be very very thick like a biryani okay. or pulao Mm -hmm. So this is water need a, like a double quantity what you have and then we'll cover it and leave it in a slow heat and cook it like rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the water will yeah. dry up. And uh, we'll check now salt yeah. because the salt will absorb the, everything. Okay. And if we need it, salt later, we can add it a little bit okay. later. So nice. have a taste My and um, then we'll move for uh, next um, steps. The sauce. And, uh, yeah. I can really taste the tomato in there. Yeah. Yeah. And all the seasoning. It's really good. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so we leave it this one to cover it. Yeah. Steaming. Do we leave the heat on or? Yeah, heat on and um, slow. So yeah, we we'll leave so it in three. three number. Okay. And then we move here. Mm -hmm. After. So our quinoa's doing well in the pot, getting ready, and we're gonna move on to the to what next? So uh, quinoa is already cooking yeah. there. And um, salmon is marinated, mm -hmm. so just need eight minutes. When I'm cooking the sauce, I will be um, putting salmon inside. The and oven. oven is already on for a preheat, so you have a heat already on. Now prepping for the sauce. Okay. So everything chopped up, but when you are cooking at home, you can prep everything together and put in the tray or plate, and then you start cooking. Okay. <laughs> So oil is hot, you can see, and uh, we're adding mustard seed. This is a yellow mustard seed. So mustard seed, let crack. You can see the cracking. And then you add ginger, chili, and garlic and then you straight away add uh, salads and let them to get cooked well mm -hmm. 
Here will be amazing uh, fresh curry leaf with a mustard seed. The flavor comes very, very amazing. Um, mustard seed and curry leaf first, and then you cooked everything. So I add um, shallots, mustard seed, ginger, garlic, chili. I let the cook this one. Then I'm going to add a powdered spice uh, and tomato and cook together and till tomato gets uh, mushy. And then uh, we're going to add uh, raw mango and then coconut and cook till it gets thick. So it's very simple process, very easy and very, very tasty. Must try this one. I'm adding tomato and then powdered spice with turmeric garam masala coriander powder cumin powder I'm adding a little bit of butter on this so it doesn't stick Chopped tomato. Joy, you want to see uh, this? This is straight. They see them all is mashed uh, and cooked tomato yeah. and make puree. Looks and amazing. be careful because it's a, a little bit um, getting sticky. Yeah. 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 So now um, we will mm -hmm. add it. We can stir. So we add and it. we add the coconut. Okay. And cook till get thick. Thick. That's all, and um, finish with the coriander, salt. It smells amazing. Mm. Okay. So you said we're going to wait till this gets thicker. Get the thicker, thicker cook, yeah. and then yeah, and do it uh, taste the salt. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Okay, we give a little bit of taste. Yeah. I don't know how is? Nice. He didn't even blow it. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that's really good. Mm. Yeah, so well, let's put the uh, everything we have ready now, and uh, we will put uh, salmon to cook. And uh, salmon, we have a preheat oven. Uh, we apply a little bit of oil, that's uh, a little bit. So, Easy to get it out uh, when you take it out. Salmon and uh, yeah, the marinated salmon. And um, I am cooking uh, a skin side down. So yeah, look at this. So we're going to pop it in the oven for 10 minutes, 180 degrees. Okay. And uh, if you need more, we'll check later what, uh, how much is cooked now. Okay, so now I'm um, sauteing uh, spinach. I'm adding a little bit of oil. Pan is too hot. Uh, we'll wait. So we'll add a little bit of butter. Then uh, cumin seeds and a spinach. A little bit of butter, okay? This is just a little bit. And, uh, and cumin. Quinoa, how is going? How is doing quinoa? And off the gas now. So we have we are ready now, and the salmon is ready. Already 10 to 12 minutes because Joey like um, a bit more cooked, well done. She don't like pink, so okay. Joey, the food is ready now. Mm -hmm. And look at the salmon. Oh my goodness! Like oh my gosh, that looks yeah. amazing. And um, it's done. You can hear it sizzling. Yeah. And uh, we're very touchy. Love the color as well. Yeah. And we will off the. Uh, Turn it off, yeah. Yeah, done. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, We'll keep it here. Yeah. With us. And 
Be careful, very, very hot. Yeah. And we're not going to touch it. And then we have a little bit of lemon. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, so we're going to plate the food now. Yeah. And we are ready. So, very simply, how we want. In a home chef doing this. Oh, no. A bit dirty. I will clean it later. No worries. It's only mm. me eating. Yeah. <laughs> and this one mm -hmm. here. And a little bit. Spinach looks really, yeah. really, really tasty. So. Okay. And, okay. and we use the spatula. Mm. We'll be a bit. Looks like a really nice juicy piece. Yeah. It's really, really good. All the juices have dried up as well. Mm. So you prefer to put it separately rather than on the same yeah. plate. Yeah. Oh. We don't want to mess around that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, again, you can use the food piece. Would this portion fill you up? Uh, yeah, we, do, we have healthy food, no? We don't want to be like... <laughs> You don't want to, like me, you know. <laughs> I don't think you look to be like a like a big eater. Big eater. I can see you. Don't I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have done and ready. So it's time for me to dig in. <laughs> see it's been prepared really easily quickly I mean it smells amazing it's flavorsome and now I'm gonna dig in yeah please I'm gonna Go. start with the salmon first mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with this fish is my favorite sir mm. so all the flavor it tastes really flavorsome the curry, no, not the curry, the sauce, you know, tastes really good as well. Yeah, try mm. with um, this one together mm. and go very, very well. Mm. And uh, uh, this one, the quinoa, yeah. you can have mm, just like this or just a salmon and quinoa will be amazing yeah. as well. So uh, quinoa and salmon, without sauce, you can have mm. it as well. So every dish can go without anything. So this is yeah. a separate dish, sauce is separate. Sauce, you can add the prawns and yeah. it's diff very different. Oh God, I really like uh, the quinoa. We'll cook more and more and more dish <laughs> and see, nice food. Mm -hmm. So I've had the amazing opportunity to taste, you know, this delicious meal right here. I'm sure there are other people who will be watching and thinking, you know, I would like to experience the same thing. Where can they, you know, follow you? Where can they get your recipes? How do they get in touch? <laughs> Mostly you're going to find any Joey channel. Okay? <laughs> because we're going to continue this. Definitely. Things. If not, then you're going to find me in Instagram. Instagram. Uh, and then I work for a cinnamon kitchen so cinnamon this is a cinnamon kitchen style food okay. and you can taste in a cinnamon club or cinnamon kitchen and anywhere all, all the group we have a similar food mm -hmm. and uh, if you're looking for recipes you're going to find in a, in a bio uh, to your channel that, uh, in a video we're going to have a recipe as well with the ingredients and everything and if you have any question ask joey or me in instagram or anywhere and you definitely you're definitely uh, you're going to find me anywhere in a whole google will be there <laughs> So your handle is at Chef Santos? Yeah, so my Instagram is um, at uh, Chef Santos Sa. Okay. Everything. So Twitter also same, Facebook also same, and mm -hmm. uh, Instagram is same as well. No and worries. Uh, my website is same as well. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Chef Spotlight. It was an amazing episode with Chef Santos. We learned to cook so much and I look forward to the next episode. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.